today. We didn't lose 11 firefighters. A year ago this week, Captain Victor Aguirre left the hospital where he had been since an explosion in downtown L.A. nearly cost him his life. He and a dozen other firefighters were injured, none of them knowing that the building that was on fire that day was packed with hazardous materials. Now only on NBC4, the I-Team's Lolita Lopez sits down with the captain and his family to talk about his incredible recovery. It just didn't feel real. I just thought, no way, this is not really happening. This is Los Angeles Fire Captain Victor Aguirre at the top of the engine ladder. This is not happening. <laughs> Reality hit that this is real. Going into, then escaping a burning building in downtown Los Angeles. Responding to the truck fire 327 East Boyd. Right there and then when that, I was on the ladder, that's when I thought I was dying. I was completely on fire. I was a big fireball. That, and I looked to my right and I thought, what? Please stop. Somebody turn this off. Saturday, May 16th, 2020. And that morning, I came into work. It was not my regular day. Looking back, he remembers it was a strange day from the start. This part of the story, not too many people know about it. He says he wore a long sleeve fire protective undershirt instead of his usual short sleeves. He refused to go to the hospital after an injury at another fire earlier the same morning where he was hit in the head by a loose cable. I was wearing my helmet and my arm and threw me about five feet and I landed about a couple inches from falling off the roof. He then responded to the Boyd Street fire where he says his gear, training and reviewing safety exercises with fellow firefighters that morning helped save his life when it's believed nitrous oxide, butane, and other materials stored inside the building exploded. If we would have delayed just a few more seconds, then a lot more of us would have been just as bad as I was. I did lose a lot of my tip of my fingers and a lot of my bones because they just couldn't salvage the burnt bones. Therapy dog Hank helping him with the daily physical and mental challenges. It's tough. Um, that is the uh, biggest part of this is accepting the, that I might have to live with a disability. I think just little by little, I've been just accepting it and learning how to live with it and live a better productive life. You can hold his hand. What does that mean? That word to me. A husband and father, not only holding the family together, but an inspiration for life and resilience. Mentally, emotionally, physically, he's pushing through. And if he can do it with all this pain and I can do anything. Dad also inspiring their 21-year-old son, now training to be a firefighter with the LAFD. Yes, I fear. I not only fear for my family, but for my friends as well, because they are also my family. Family forever keeping Aguirre going, ever since that fateful day that changed his life. I felt like I was leaving. I felt like I was standing up. And then I remember seeing that I had a flash uh, image of my wife, my son, my daughter. What's next for the Aguirre family? Well, sky is not the limit, <laughs> that's for sure. We're gonna keep this fighting. And what's next is uh, we're gonna continue living life like we plan on living it.